So we have made it to round two of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. So let's get into these game one. So yeah, first off, Battle of Florida. The Lightning take came, game one over the Florida Panthers, four to one um, in uh, the Florida Panthers arena. And I mean, yeah, they, they started out this series strong. The Lightning did. I mean, obviously this is a rematch of uh, last year playoff series. There are two teams that are hungry for a playoff victory here. So yeah, anyways, Anthony DeClaire got the first goal and only goal for the Panthers in the first period, um, you know, about two thirds of the way through it. Um, so that made it uh, one nothing Florida. Uh, and Sergei Bobrovsky did pretty good in that period for them, but Tampa came out swinging. And when, uh, when they got on the board with a Corey Perry goal, um, it was a very nice pass and it would made it 1-1. One, one, and that, you know, just kind of started the things going for Tampa Bay. In the third period, um, Bellamar scored one for them. And then they got one later on from Kucherov, who's also been really good in this playoffs. And so Ross Colton got the ending goal, made it 4-1. And the President's Trophy winners lose game one. Obviously, they sort of struggled in certain games last series against the Capitals, so I don't doubt that they're going to win games in the series. But, of course, the Lightning are familiar with the Panthers, and I think this is a good matchup. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely going to be a good series, but Lightning take game one, 4-1. Next, we have an overtime victory. The Colorado Avalanche defeat the St. Louis Blues 3-2. Um, and this was a really good game goaltending-wise for both teams. Jordan Bennington had 51 saves. And for the Avalanche, uh, they had a 9-2-0 save percentage from Darcy Kemper. So, I mean, a really good matchup. Um, I think, obviously, the Avs, I think, are going to win the, the series. But still, a good game one. Ryan O'Reilly got the first goal for St. Louis. And that first goal of the game kind of set the tone for him. Made it 1-0. On uh, the second period, however, uh, Nitsch Hushkin got a goal, um, tying it up for the Avalanche. And that made it 1-1. Bennington was playing really good up to that time. Um, you know, he got a lot of good saves. Jordan Cairo, though, tied up the game nearing the end of it uh, for the Blues and uh, really good passing by them. And, uh, you know, sort of, you know, just getting that goal really helped them out. And then we went to overtime and Josh Manson, about halfway through the period, won it for the Avalanche. Um, so they take game one, three, two, but overtime, it was a close one. So we'll see what happens in the remainder of the series. Next, we have the New York Rangers, another overtime game. New York Rangers losing to the Hurricanes in Carolina. 2-1 uh, finish uh, in the first period. Philip uh, Chidel got the first goal for the Rangers. Um, it was a really nice play. Good steal by Lafreniere, good pass, and that made it 1-0 New York. Of course, you know, a lot of good goaltending in this game as well. Auntie Ranta made some good saves um, in the third period. Or Igor Shesterkin had some clutch saves, but eventually... Um, Sebastian Aho tied the game up for Carolina. A really nice feed from um, from uh, you know the other players on, on the ice, and it, it was a really nice goal, making a nice move. In overtime, about three minutes in, Ian Cole won it for the Hurricanes. Um, you know, sort of poor placement by the defense of New York, and it was a pretty nice goal, but I think it was sort of a lucky goal, and that won the game for Carolina 2-1. And then finally, we have. The, a very high scoring game, the Battle of Alberta, Oilers and Flames, 9-6 uh, final, Flames win, 15 goals between the two teams, a crazy second period, um, so let's get into this one, this is a you know, very interesting game, so in the first period, Elias Lindholm gets the first goal for Calgary, putting him up 1-0, and then they went up 2-0 with the Mangiapane goal, and um, then they went up 3 nothing with a Brett Ritchie goal. So this was just a crazy start for him. Connor McDavid, though, got uh, the Oilers on the board. Um, nice goal from him. Nice skate, um, skate work. And that made it 3-1. Uh, in the second period, Blake... And that was all in the first period. Blake Coleman got the Flames another goal, 4-1. So they responded 5-1 um, after Blake Coleman got another one. So they went up 5-1. However, Bichard got a goal for the Oilers, making it 5-2. Matthew Kachuk got one for the Flames, making it 6-2, and Calgary just kept responding. Zach Hyman got one for the Oilers, making it 6-3, so very back and forth. And then 6-4 from Hyman's other goal. Uh, Dreisaitl made it 6-5, so all of a sudden, they're down by a lot, and then it's a one-goal game. Um, and so, in the, yeah, in the third period, Kyler Yamamoto ties the game up at 6 for the Oilers. How crazy is that? Now, the of course, the Flames would score the remainder of the goals, but that's just a crazy comeback. Rasmus Anderson got uh, the goal for the Flames, taking it 7-6, and then they went up 8-6 with another goal from Kachuk, and then won it 
um, as Kachuk got the hat trick at the end of the game, um, scoring on the empty net. So the Flames win 9-6. Those are all the game ones, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, peace out.